Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to integrate Bootstrap and set up the front end layout for our PHP e-commerce project. So let's get started with it. So previously we had made the database connection, right? And this part, you just have to remove it. Yeah. So previously we had made the database connection and now we are going to integrate the Bootstrap. So we'll go to the browser and go to getbootstrap.com. So here it is, just go to the docs and here you just scroll down. So you will get a starter template over here. So just copy this and go to your index.php page and paste. Okay. So here in this starter template, you have the bootstrap CSS and the JS. So there are two versions over here. So this is the bundle with popper and this is the other thing. So you have two files, so bootstrap and popper separately so you can use any one of these so i'll just use the bundle one and just remove this and here we will add the jquery cdn link so we'll just go to the browser and search for jquery cdn link and click on this releases.jquery.com and you have got it so here we are going to take the jquery 3 and the minified version so just click on that you will get the link over here just copy the link and paste it in a new tab and we have got the code over here so we'll create a file with this name jquery so here we have to create a folder called assets it's a new folder assets so don't confuse it with the assets inside the admin folder so this is only for the admin so for the user side we are going to create a different one so inside assets we have to create a new file with this name jquery min.js so go back to the browser and copy this code and paste it inside this file just save and close this file and you have to just import it over here just call script and say src is equal to assets slash jquery min.js and these things this css and js also we will just keep it locally inside our project so just paste that link copy the file name and create a folder inside the assets so css and inside that create a new file and copy this code and paste it over there save and close so this jquery thing we have to put it inside the js folder create a new folder called js and drop it inside that okay and now we have to paste this bundle js also copy and paste copy the file name create a new file and paste paste it over here okay so now we have to call the file which we have it in our local directory so i'll just remove all this and just copy paste and change the file name inside js i have bootstrap bundle and we'll add the js folder for this also and for the css also we'll just remove this cdn link and give the local path assets css bootstrap main.css so these things you can just remove it's not required yeah so now you can just check the output so go to your browser and we'll just close all these things and remove this admin from here so here it is so now we'll just check if our bootstrap is integrated properly or not so let us just add one button in our website btn.btn the btn primary and i will call this testing okay so we should see a blue color button over there refresh so here it is so if your bootstrap was not linked properly this thing will come as a default html button so we have integrated bootstrap successfully in our php e-commerce website 
So now what we are going to do is we will just create the header footer and the navbar separately inside a includes folder. So create a folder over here called includes and inside the includes create a new file called header.php from the open body tag till the top so just control x and paste it in the header.php and then we'll add the footer say new file called footer.php and we will paste the script and the close html tag paste okay so now we will include this header and footer in this index.php file so just open php close php and say include function so inside includes folder it is header.php copy and paste footer.php save and now let us just refresh and check so we have got the same output so it's working perfect so now let us add a navbar over here so just go to getbootstrap.com and search for navbar so you will get different navbars over here so whichever you are comfortable with you can just take that so i'll just take this simple one with a drop down okay yeah so just copy and create a new file inside your includes folder called navbar.php and paste it over here so we'll just include this also in the header.php so we don't have to call it everywhere so after the open body tag open php and close php include function and this is inside the same directory right so the header is inside includes and the navbar is also inside the same directory so we don't have to call the includes folder over here so just say navbar.php and now we can just test the output go and refresh so here it is so we will just customize our navbar all this nav links we will just move it to the right side and this navbar will start from here so we will just put it inside a container so there is some space left on the left and the right as well so we'll just go to the code and inside your navbar so this thing container fluid so just remove the fluid over here so it will be inside a container now so we will move this thing to the right that thing inside this ul just add a class called margin start auto ms hyphen auto refresh okay and we'll just change the color so you have this right navbar light pg light just change that to dark and refresh okay and you can just add some shadow to this navbar say shadow refresh okay now it looks good so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to integrate bootstrap and set up the front end layout in our php e-commerce so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you